What's up everyone? We are back again for another tutorial video. This time it's going to be on AYCD and their virtual credit card generator. I'm going to be going over this today with Capital and Eno cards, but it does also work with other virtual card providers such as Stripe, City, and Privacy. Let's get started. Okay, now that we have AYCD pulled up, just make sure it's on the latest version. Mine's going to be on 2.1.8. You'll have the start button up here. I already have it loaded, so make sure it's downloaded to the latest version. We'll pull it up, and it's usually gonna be on the profiles tab. I'm gonna have most of my stuff blurred out, but pretty much you can organize all of your profiles for all the sites, whether it's Shopify, Supreme, East Bay, Foot Locker, or just foot sites in general. You can organize it here, or just go to the all tab. But today we're gonna be working on virtual cards. Okay, now that we have the virtual cards tab open, you're gonna have two little buttons on the left side. This button's gonna be for the cards that are already generated. This one's gonna be for how to create them. So for me, I have Capital One and Privacy, but today I'm just gonna show you Capital One. It's pretty much the same for the others. Capital One, you'll click Create. Go down to here. I'm gonna name it. Type your login in. Make sure it's correct. Click save. So now it's going to appear here. That's the provider, Capital One. If you have two different things, like I said, you could do one here, do one here, do the same thing, click create, and then go to all, and I'll show all of them down here. All right, now that we have our provider put in and all of our login credentials put in, we're going to move to the left tab and click on the credit card icon. We're going to go to file, create, and make sure your provider's put in. Mine's Capital One, so it'll stay the same. We're going to go through all of this information and make sure it's correct. So category was all was already cap one like I showed you before. We're just gonna generate five cards for today. Um, I believe it's 20 per 24 hours for Capital One. So 20 would be the max. We're gonna do Nike.com, but if you just click H, you'll see all the sites here. But for today, we're just gonna do Nike.com since the Street Hawkers are coming out next week. So we're gonna make some profiles for TSP and Mech AIO. The card index is if you have multiple cards, most people aren't gonna wor worry about this. But for someone like me, I have two Capital One cards. Um, it appears on the top and the bottom for different cards. So the top card would be number one for the index and the card that appears below it would be number two. I already maxed out my generation cards for the first one. So we're just gonna go for the bottom one, which is two. And then pretty much from there, you're gonna go to generate. It's gonna pull this all up. It'll type in everything. It'll sign me in and then it's going to go to that bottom card like I said and it's going to click that bottom one and it's going to generate for me and it's just going to do the five like I said it's a pretty cool tool to have you won't have to do it yourself and you'll have all the information pretty much put in and imported directly Yeah, and that's how it works. All right, for some of you like me who manually create the cards by hand and go on the website and do it, what you're gonna do is go to this import tab. The create tab on this left icon right here. The create tab is for generating the cards. The import tab is for if they're already made. So for me, I already maxed out for my cards for today. So. I have two or three or four hundred cards on my Capital One card strictly for Nike. So what I want to do is add them all into AYCD. So that's what that import tab's for. Just make sure you have your category just so it's all organized. Capital One and the Cap One tab, Category All tab, doesn't really matter. Um, and for the website it's being used. My credit card, I strictly make these accounts for Nike for TSB botting and sneakers botting. Uh, with Mech AIO and TSB. But for this credit card, I think I have around three or 400. I'm not gonna go through all 300. I'm just gonna show you the step on how it works. So I'm just gonna set the quantity to 300. The Eno tab for at least Capital One tells you how many cards are made. So I'm not gonna go through all that, but it'll tell you how many you have generated already. So let's say there was 300, I would keep it at that quantity of 300 and it'll go only up to that amount. And then pretty much what you'll do is go to import, it's going to pull it up, enter all that info in, and it's going to add all of those cards one by one 
to this section right here. So once it's all logged in, it's gonna go through all of them. It's gonna have the Nike right here. Most of my stuff will be blurred out. And as you can see here, it's adding them one by one. So I set a quantity to 300. I don't even know how many cards I have generated at this point. Yeah, it says up here 519. So I'm not even gonna go through 519 because it's set to 300. And that's how pretty much that works. And then once it's all done, all your cards will be stored in here. And you can export it. I believe you could put it into a spreadsheet um, so it's nice and neat. And then you'll see all your cards there. And if you ever have to manually input them, you could do it that way, or you can keep using Eno and the AYCD uh, import tool. And that's pretty much how it works. Thank you for watching.